Year 9, The Rule of Cross Quantum 22nd of Obsidian, 1058 Well, diary, it happened again. The RA found the ratweed stashed in my dorm room during the winter break festivities. The cretin, I mean, I know beards are the norm in our society, but could you at least wash it once in a while? Muttered something about three strikes or straights or something. I don't know, I don't know anything about bowling or poker. On the plus side, I found some wonderful imported elven curtains that perfectly complement the lilac accents I painted on the window sill. They're simply to die for. 24th of Obsidian, 1058. Oh my god. The RA came back and said I was going to be expelled from the university. That is so unfair. I'm going down to the dean's office at once. There's no way someone of my caliber will be expelled for something so trifling as this. 24th of Obsidian, 1058. The dean said there was nothing he could do. Let me tell you, I gave him a piece of my mind. I reminded him of who it was that had the idea for the performance of School Fountain Has Water Turned Into Pudding, topped with human, dwarven, and elven feces in the shape of angels, that got so much press last year, about how much publicity the University of Glazed Loins got for that, and how it pushed off those Philistine ingrate donors, you know, the ones who might have had a lot of money, but no taste, you know? I think refreshing his memory worked, because he smiled at me, and he said he remembered something about a job opening in one of the newer settlements. He said that I'd be perfect for it, that I deserved it. He said he'd get in touch with me tomorrow. 25th of Obsidian, 1058. I found a note in my mailbox this morning from the Dean. Apparently, this place is a town called Boat Murder. God, I hate how all these suburban developers give their stupid little town such boring faux pastoral names. Anyway, apparently the place is in need of sprucing up. Something about how all the local interior decorators are so fixated on elephants for some reason. And they need some new blood to come and reinvigorate their living spaces. Oh, I'm so excited. My first real-world job, and I'm in charge of a whole town's interior design needs? I bought tickets for the next caravan right away, and we leave in an hour. If all goes well, I'll arrive by the first. First of Granite, 1059. Well, I'm here, diary. I've taken a survey of the fortress estate, and let me tell you, it's pitiful. We all know our people like to engrave historical events, so I've included a few charcoal rubbings of some typical engravings here. Othel e Guest, The Ring of Glossing Engraved on the floor is a superiorly designed image of a dwarf and an elephant by Tourette Doge Regunib. The elephant is striking down the dwarf. Gidor Vunam, The Memory of Lungs Engraved on the wall is a masterfully designed image of a dwarf and an elephant by Sankis Gottenbamrek. The elephant is striking down the dwarf. Three separate instances of Dumatgoshterlikot Doren, The Rough Hoary Ink of Diamonds. Engraved by Sankis Gottenbamrek, Feb Anamereb, and Locus Oshithmurul. Each of these are renditions of a well-designed image of a cheese. Apparently, the two most significant historical events here in Boat Murdered are elephants and cheese. And take a close look at those cheese ones, actually. They aren't even carvings of cheese, but renditions of some other image of a cheese. They're freaking homages to fromages! Intrigued, I investigate the art history of the settlement further. I discover this artifact, which I can only presume was the inspiration for all the imitators. Anilo draws Akil Bekom. Glory is fatal. The points of spring. This is a moonstone bracelet. All craft dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is decorated with moonstone and mahogany, and encircled with bands of onyx, mandrel bone, and silver. This object menaces with spikes of jet. On the item is an image of a mandrill and a dog in moonstone. The dog is striking down the mandrill. On the item is an image of an elephant and a dwarf in rope reed. The elephant is making a plaintive gesture. The dwarf is laughing. On the item is an image of a cheese in clear glass. 
Having viewed it for myself, I must agree that this image of a cheese speaks to the dwarven spirit, and will be a cultural treasure for generations to come. Anyway, I have a few ideas already for adding some pizzazz to this dreary settlement. For starters, this place needs more openness, so I've placed an order for windows to be made and installed to improve the ambience. I've gotten the ball rolling on some other projects as well, but you'll just have to wait and see about those. P.S. Apparently this job comes with some sort of clerical duties or something, I don't know. When I got here, the people kept asking me questions about farming and fighting demons and stuff. Hello? Do I look like I know anything about that? Ninth of Granite, a lone elf noble has arrived. I'm so excited. My first time meeting a real elf, and it's noble to boot. I sometimes feel out of place as a dwarf, with my barely there facial hair and high-pitched voice. I should have been born an elf. Their culture is so superior to ours. That reminds me, I should see if I can order an elven lunchbox from the next caravan. So long as it's not pink... Shortly after him, a group of monkeys showed up. The leader of the local militia, the only able-bodied survivor of some kind of fight with some demons or something, explained to me how mandrills are deceptively fierce for their size, and asked for permission to raise a militia. Oh gosh, those military guys seemed like they're always looking for approval from an authority figure. Anyway, I told them to do whatever, so he picked four peasants to help him out. 23rd of Granite. Goblin pedophiles infiltrated our fortress. A kidnapper has made off with the child Olan Berezes. Fortunately, the captain of the guard was able to stop the kidnapper's partner. I sent the parents of the kidnapped, presumed raped, and probably deceased child a sympathy card and a hand-assembled bouquet of flowers. Also, the bookkeeper went mad. Now he sits by the side of the main entrance hallway, panhandling and screaming demands at passerby for exactly five platinum and five gold coins. 24th of Granite. The bookkeeper's body was found on the shores of the cave river today, apparently a suicide, although the captain of the guard suspects foul play. It seems the bookkeeper had made a lot of enemies when he arrived and he did away with the subsidized housing. Diary, I'm starting to get a little worried for my safety. I shall confer with the Elven Noble as to what colors are most calming. Update. When I went to the Elven Noble's quarters, all I found was a note that he was unhappy with his stay here, and that he left early. I think I'll go to my quarters where I'm going to burn a sage and citrus scented candle, eat some cookie dough, and weep myself to sleep. 11th of Hematite. The rest of spring ended uneventfully. In fact, I'm starting to get downright bored. The goblins are upon us. A vile force of darkness has arrived. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, what do I do? I've never even seen a goblin, much less get sieged by them. The job description didn't say anything about sieges. This is totally un... The leader of the militia just called me a goddamn sissy. And he said he'd be right back. He's probably going to give a rousing speech to his men, sweaty, armored, and tense before making a valiant last stand. Oh, it's, it's so dramatic. If I must die, at least it's a way that's so... Magma flows from the fortress, consuming several small ponds in great steamy waves. It creeps up upon the goblins and consumes them. 24th of Hevatite Diary, it was terrible. That militia leader just killed them, burned them all to a crisp, without even trying to make peace. Not only that, but he burned up all the grass and woodland creatures outside, too. No wonder the elves hate us so much. We're so violent and destructive to our environment. I, I painted a mural on the wall by the barracks saying, No blood for lava, in protest. Eighth of Galena. After the goblin siege, life returned to the same old, same old. Some of the soldiers gave me dirty looks and maybe spit on me once or twice. That's okay, though, because my first project came to completion. It's my hope that it will inspire contemplation and raise the collective consciousness of the community to a higher level. 17th of Galena. It seems that the rest of the townsfolk are using the new statuary mainly to throw parties involving monkeys and horses. Cretans. 16th of Limestone. Diary, I am becoming dismayed. Work on the projects was already falling behind schedule when this happened again. The goblins are upon us. A vile force of darkness has arrived. 
A group of them caught one of our doors outside. It seemed to me that they were just walking up to discuss options for peaceful coexistence. But then they just stabbed him in the face instead. I was so shocked. I turned to say something to the captain, but he just shot me a dirty look and walked out the door. The land floods with magma. Again. The goblins are obliterated. The siege delayed project construction even further. I feel so depressed now. I've been passing the time by hauling rocks in remote parts of the fortress. I know there are more important stone hauling jobs to do, but sometimes a dwarf needs some time to think alone, you know? Fourth of Moonstone. The rest of the fall passed without incident. The farmers brought in the last of the pigtail harvest this year. That was my idea. You can eat, drink, or wear organically grown pigtails. Ninth of Moonstone. There was a frogman ambush earlier today. The soldiers and traps took care of them pretty quickly. I'm starting to think we may have to invest in better sanitation, though. Seventeenth of Moonstone. Diary, I'm starting to hate it here. Seems that every other day there's some new invading force of some kind or another. There's blood all over the main hallway now. Where does it all come from? Butterflies that stink with the stench of a thousand corpses, and the screams of possessed dwarves echo through the halls. I hope my first paycheck gets here soon. 24th of Moonstone I'm feeling myself grow callous here. I didn't even look up when my assistant told me that a cobalt raiding force showed up in the outskirts of the settlement. Sadly, I was even less surprised when they immediately left. Come on, guys, we have a nice settlement. Why don't you stick around? Was it the ashen wasteland? The blood-stained gates? Was it the screams of madmen or the stench of death? We've got awful nice engravings of some fucking cheese here. Come the fuck on in! 28th of Obsidian. Well, Diary, I've had enough of it here. I feel like a failure. The project sits almost completed, but not quite. It feels like when I wouldn't quite have my papers done for one of my old professors. Only the outright fail asshole kind of professor, not the oh well you lose a letter grade sort. This place is dirty and foul. Not at all like the loving utopia I hope to craft. I shall leave instructions to whomever comes after on the functioning of the project. Here's a crude sketch of it. I think I'll see if some of those frogmen corpses are still around here. I've heard that licking their skin can be very enlightening. I just hope it's strong enough to make me forget everything that's happened here.